So today I'm talking about a P0016 code, what it is and how you can go about fixing it. And so what is a P0016 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position, camshaft position, correlation, bank one, sensor A. And so what does this mean? Well, basically an engine needs to be timed correctly and it's going to have different timing components that keep it timed. It's going to have a timing chain or timing belt. Many engines nowadays, they have what's called variable valve timing, which can control the timing when the engine's running. It can adjust the timing at different RPMs and things like this. And there's also going to be camshaft position sensors and crankshaft position sensors that just report back to the computer the location of the camshaft and the crankshaft as they're spinning. But when you get this P0016 code, the camshaft position sensor A on bank one side of the engine is reporting that there's some kind of problem going on here. Basically, there's some kind of problem with the crankshaft. It's not matching up with that camshaft. And so it's going to be troubleshooted to know why. And if you have a V6 or V8 engine, the engine is going to have two banks. Bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you Google what the number one cylinder is on your engine, since there is differences, then that side of the engine is going to be bank one. And the opposite of that would be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, then there will only be one bank. And if your engine is a single overhead cam engine, then it's only going to have one camshaft. But if your engine is a dual overhead cam engine, then it's going to have two camshafts on each bank of the engine. And if you do have a dual overhead cam engine, then the A camshaft is going to be on the intake side and the B camshaft is going to be on the exhaust side. So when you get this code, locate the bank one side of your engine, which is the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. Again, there's differences, so be sure to Google that. And sensor A is going to be on the intake side. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0016 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty engine oil. And basically, engine oil is flowing through the variable valve timing. And if the engine oil is low or if it's really dirty or anything like this, then it could throw off that variable valve timing, and that could cause issues. So first thing to do is go check your engine oil. Be sure it's not really low or not really dirty or anything like this, because the first thing that could cause this is low or dirty engine oil. And the next thing that could cause this is some kind of problem going on in the variable valve timing. And this can be named differently depending on the vehicle, the manufacturer, different things like this. But basically, if there's some kind of problem going on in the variable valve timing, then that could cause issues. And this is going to include things like the variable valve timing solenoid or possibly a variable valve timing actuator or phaser. If anything goes wrong with these components, then that can cause problems, mainly on that bank one camshaft A. Although usually if that happens, you'll be getting other codes. So for example, if you've got A camshaft position actuator circuit open bank one, then in that case, it's going to be a good idea to go check out that camshaft actuator on bank one side of the engine because the next thing that could cause this is some kind of issue going on in the variable valve timing. And the next thing that could cause this is a bad timing chain or timing belt. And basically these timing chains or timing belts, so they all have timing marks and it all needs to line up correctly. And if it doesn't, then it could throw things off and it's going to cause problems. So for example, say that timing belt or timing chain slips on bank one side of the engine on that camshaft A, and it's a little bit before or a little bit after that timing mark, then that can throw everything off right there and that's going to cause problems. Also, these timing belts and timing chains, when they get old, they can become stretched out. And so when the engine's running, it can just throw off the timing just a little bit. And that can start triggering these codes and things like that. Or one of these tensioners go bad where it holds everything tight, something along those lines. But the next thing that's going to cause this is a bad timing chain or timing belt. And the next thing that causes this is a bad camshaft or crankshaft position sensor. If one of those sensors go bad, then it might just be reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer just thinks there's a problem when there isn't. And this is mainly going to be the camshaft position sensor A on bank one side of the engine. And again, usually when that happens, you'll get another code. So for example, if you've got like a camshaft position sensor A, circuit range performance, bank one or single sensor, then in that case, it's a good idea to go test that sensor, test the wiring, and be sure there's no problems going on. Because the next thing that could cause this is a bad camshaft or crankshaft position sensor. And the last thing I'll list is going to be some kind of wiring problem going on. Basically, just keep in mind that if there's any kind of wiring issue going to the variable valve timing or going to one of the sensors. There's like an open, there's a short, there's a blowing fuse, something along those lines. Then that's going to cause problems. So the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring problem. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0016 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.